Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, one fall with a 15 minute time limit, your referee, Stan the Man Robinson. In the corner of the white and green, he is the Serpent Assassin. This is Brandon Watley. And his opponent made their SSP debut just last month right here at Monkey Drink Brewing. He is the wrestling prodigy, the second generation star. This is AJ Black. Singles competition underway. Brandon Watley and A.J. Black, two individuals who just recently made their debuts here at Southern States. Rob Weathers joined by Carmen Michael as always, and Watley immediately getting control over A.J. Black in the corner. Got both men here looking to make a statement, shake things up here in the singles division at Southern States Pro. What I've seen from both men certainly have the capability to do so well. AJ Black stepping up in a big way the last time we were here in Sawani, Georgia, taking on the Kenway, a man who was without an opponent for the evening. And you have got to be, there's a few words I would use, but let's say brave if you yeah, want to take on the Kenway in the mood that he was in on that night. Certainly the uh, the adjective I use. Credit where credit is due to AJ Black, not one to back down from the fight. He's yet to back down to Brandon Watley with the superior striking game of Watley. We have seen these educated feet of the Serpent Assassin a few times here now in Southern States. He's drops it down to the mat, looks the leg for the cover, but just a one count. Black powers that shoulder up, still want to fight here in the game. Oh, goes for that big pump kick, but out of the way, rolls him up, does AJ Black with the upset. Two. Certainly don't want to discredit the athletic ability of AJ Black, and hold on, it's a leg once again for the cover, and another two count. Don't want to discredit the athletic background of AJ Black and certainly Brandon Watley with his experience advantage heading into this match. Now Watley may be looking to put the nail in the coffin here of AJ Black. Goes into that kick again, but misses a second time. And Black now with a couple of big right hands for Brandon Watley. Black very confident in that kick. Oh my goodness, taking his head off with that clothesline, throwing everything into it, hooks the outside leg again. And another two count for Watley. Uh, Watley taking a look down at AJ Black. Like, like he wasn't expecting the amount of fight that Black has put in, but much like last time we saw AJ Black with the Kenway. AJ's a very, very young competitor, has been around professional wrestling his entire life, a second generation professional wrestler but very young and a lot of talent take advantage of that. They think that Black is somebody that they can get one over on, but as he's proven right now against Watley, that is not the case, Yuji Zaguri. Third time was not the charm for that bicycle kick, but oh, discus, discus Larry there, AJ Black. Hits the outside leg, but just a two count, barely. Just referee Stan Robinson. <laughs> AJ Black gotta be careful here, Keep within striking distance of Brandon Watley. AJ off the rope, springboard goes for a kick, but out of the way is Wally. No. Wally finally connects with the bicycle kick. One is all cover. it takes. Hooks the leg. That's all she wrote for Black. <laughs> Impressive performance as always from the Serpent Assassin here tonight. AJ Black, one second, I know you're I know you're hurting. Just stay right there. Two months in a row now. You you come come ready to help out, do whatever you can to like get get on board with SSP. 
tough, tough loss again today. You lost against Kenway last month. What are your What are your thoughts now that you uh, you got to SSP? Ever since I've been at SSP, it's been nothing but obstacles. But it's just like 2024 has been for AJ Black, and I'm just gonna keep overcoming them until I can't no more. With that being said, June 9th, they begin the Savage 16. You are one of those 16. What will that tournament mean to you if you can pull that off and get that victory in the SSP Savage 16? It'll mean a lot, especially being the Murder 1 Savage 16, because murder's just like a dad to me. And Josh, I just want to make him proud. There you have it. AJ Black will be one of the 16 competitors in the Savage 16 starting June 9th. That will be live streamed on our Kick channel. Please make sure you follow us on Kick, subscribe on Kick, and of course it'll be seen on YouTube as well. Thank you, AJ Black. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have Aaron Dallas versus Sal Renaro. Now, keep in mind, our last SSP show, Duncan Mitchell attacked, and I mean a heinous attack, on Aaron Dallas's little brother inside the ring when he was trying to be an official. Now, management has basically banned Duncan Mitchell from the arena, so we should not be seeing him tonight. So, with that being said, Josh Wheeler, take it to ringside. The following contest is a number one contenders match for the SSP Championship, which is currently held by the governor, Danny Briggs. Your this contest is Grandpa Booker T. Saka! This match will be one fall with a 30 minute time limit. Let's meet the man in the blue trunks. He is an NWA superstar. He is the only two time rookie of the year of all time. He is one of the top junior heavyweights in the world. He's a former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one and only. This is Saka! I don't know if I should say this, but this guy is a billion dollar moment right now. He is the blue collar rock star. He is your number one contender currently. He is the one and only. He is A. A. Von Dallas. Oh, there it is. Thank you, ladies. Yes. Yes. That's the energy we need. That's a wonderful man. Thank you guys. All right, well, you guys are gonna make me blush. Thank you, thank you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Singles competition underway. The bell's over here, Sal. Don't need to keep looking around the building. Number one contendership of Aaron Dallas's on the line here tonight. Aaron Dallas winning that number one contendership against Dylan Lesson for the opportunity to face Danny Briggs, who will not be here this evening. Putting his number one contendership on the line against your pal Sal Nara, Rob Weathers, and Carmen Michael. Carmen, so much to talk about in this match. Don't touch it. On the outside, we've seen him here all night long, but Duncan Avasia, front row ticket, bought a ticket, was fired from Southern State Broker, getting an official, an official that we all learned was, of course, Aaron Dallas's brother, but he's still embracing Aaron Dallas on his walk to the ring and saying, hey, you got this, buddy. No, no, yeah, that brotherhood, that friendship no. runs deep between these two, obviously. Former tag yeah. team partners and Duncan Avasia here in the front row. Watch on as Aaron Dallas looks to defend his number one contendership. I think that just goes to show what kind of athlete that Aaron Dallas is, how confident he is that he wants to be someone who always shows up to fight, always willing to put it on the line. First ever SSP Tag Team Champion along with Duncan Avasia, formerly known as the Seventh Sons for Duncan and Dallas. Now taking on your pal Sal, who I don't believe we've seen since the Jimmy Ray Cup. And what an impressive run in that tournament it was for Sal Renaro. Paying some tribute to his dear longtime friend Jimmy Rave that night. Off the ropes, leapfrog from Dallas. Big arm drag there from Sal Renaro. Dallas though holding his own. 
Alice is really, really comfortable with his bowling as a singles competitor. These two have faced off against each other before. It was that first round of the Jimmy Ray Cup that saw Salonara taking on Aaron Dallas and Duncan Abasia in that triangle madness elimination style match. Right now, Aaron Dallas holding his own with one of the legends of Southeastern Independent Wrestling as Sal Renaro has himself a little seat here. Plus year veteran of the professional wrestling scene, a legend here in the state of Georgia, one of the pillars of NWA Wildside, former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. Sal Renaro has got accolades on top of accolades. And look at this, as crafty as they come, rolls him up for the pin, but Dallas reverses into one of his own and lured him in with a handshake, Rob. Hey, you know what, man? He could have done that to any of us. He shook our hands on the way to the ring. I'm, gonna, I'm watching out for that next time. Knocks him out, does Dallas, hooks the leg. But underneath the ropes, the call there from referee Darrell Hall. Can't trust anyone, Rob. Drags him back to the center of the ring, hooks the outside leg. Sal had enough time to recover. Okay, lock this here, Dallas. In the ring with someone that much more experience than you've got to do everything in your in your class. Now just stay one step ahead. Right now, Aaron Dallas is doing exactly that. You, you're not going to have experience on your side when you face off against somebody in the caliber of Sal You're not going to have a lot of advantages on your side. The one advantage that you do have is you. With that youth, you might be a little stronger, you might be a little more agile, a little quicker. You're going to need to use that against a guy like Sal Renaro, who's still, all these years in the wrestling business, still no slouch, still just as strong and as fast as he's ever been. And Aaron Dallas is going to have to find something, find some advantage that he might have in order to keep the veteran down for the three. Uh, certainly throwing back the hands of time. Someone, someone who may have, quite frankly, have found the fountain youth. I'd ask him for the location, but I'm sure if he did find it, he already forgot where it was. <laughs> Sal looking a little disappointed in himself for having to go after the fingers of Dallas. But that's right back to that Jimmy Ray Pump. Sal Renaro on that night was he kept it clean all night long up until about the halfway point of this contest with Bryce Cannon. Noticed the injured knee of Bryce Cannon. Tried to play sportsman. Didn't want to go after it as he goes after the hand of Aaron Dallas right now, but eventually got frustrated and said, I need to get to the finals and I need to do it now. And that's whenever he plays that target on the injured knee of Bryce Cannon. Bryce Cannon is still injured. He's recently having surgery on the knee. He still looks to be out for possibly the remainder of 2024. We definitely send our well wishes to the frat daddy, Bryce Cannon. That's something that comes with experience, Rob. You get that killer instinct. Perhaps maybe in your youth, you may not have that, that edge to you, but Sal Renaro has been around. He knows sometimes if you want to get that win, you may have to do some things you don't like. See right now, swapping out that arm. He's going to cover once again that deep lateral press, but notice the ball on the cross the face too, Rob. It's really, really making Aaron Dallas think about everything. Ah. Sal's going to make you work for it. As we have seen, you shut. Sal is going to, no matter what, win, lose, or draw, you are not going to leave the same man afterwards. He's going to cover again. Pulling back the arm, you notice that tricep extension behind the head of Aaron Dallas. You see that hand controlled around the head, but also at that angle, going back on the tricep once again. Innovative offense Shit. from the veteran. Sal, 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 back up now. Kick to the shoulder blades. Continue to work over those fingers. Work that hand. Extremely painful. Pulling back on that tricep once again. Knee into the shoulder blades. Just, just hitting Aaron Dallas at every point's angle part. Look at that technique. It's coming on the wrist while also pushing you down with his hand. That was extra short. And Aaron Dallas still a lot of strength left. Drop the game, goes for the cover again, hooks both legs, very deep cover, but couldn't get it. You do not become a 20 plus year veteran of the professional wrestling industry without picking up quite a few tricks on your way, and Sour Nara has got all of them on display. Now trying to get behind him. Now certainly he's made quite a connection with the audience here at Southern States Pro as well. And Sal Renaro into the turnbuckles. Oh. Alice sending Sal reeling and just fighting Sal all the way over to the next corner. Oh. Irish 
whip, but gets with the first from Sal. Sal right back to the hand, and that wrist just, just forking, just bending and twisting the wrist of Aaron Dallas, and that big kick right. Look at the technique, going back on the fingers here. Hyper extending the knuckles while doing it also. He's got the hand on the elbow itself. Looking to hyper extend from two separate points. Wow. Sal's got his game down point right now, Rob. He's one of the best, but not only the state of Georgia, but the entire world of professional wrestling has ever seen. Unique offense there, the arm trapped under the ring. Apron nowhere to go, dropping the elbows down onto Aaron Dallas. Dick Salonaro is your pal Sal finally back in the ring. Right back to it, staying on top of the yeah. target, but Dallas is trying to fight back. Look at Dallas, you notice, blocked with his right arm. He slips his wrist in over his forearm to try to stop. But now, there's just no use right now. Sal Renaro's got it locked in, going back. No! Looking to break him. Suck it from Aaron Dallas. Driving him down to the mat. Elbow first. I mean, we've seen just how much a torn bicep can damage an athlete. I mean, it's been all over the news here in sports, uh, in sports entertainment, uh, professional wrestling. Number for one contender. years now, a torn tricep can keep you up for upwards of nine you months. Right up? now, Sal yeah. Rinaro, knowing that very thing, is going to force Aaron Dallas here to tap out or risk some serious damage. I know exactly how that feels. I have torn my tricep a long time ago as well. Definitely one of the most painful injuries. I've ever experienced. Aaron Dallas doesn't want to feel that same pain, but still trying to fight back in this. A little worse for wear, but still throwing everything he's got at Sal Renaro. I think every single time Aaron Dallas is throwing up those hands to block, he's adding that much extra pressure to that tricep, but now with the right arm. Looks the double axe hand, he's got him up, slide on the pie! Able to power him up, rolls through with the cover. Both legs are hooked, and ooh, jackknife is almost enough to put away Sal Renaro. He was barely a half a second away from retaining his number one contendership for Danny Briggs' SSB Championship. And look at Duncan Avicii in the front row, willing Aaron Dallas back into this match. He's calling for Aaron Dallas to use the steel toe. If Aaron Dallas can hit this, it'll be lights out for Sal Renaro. Goes for it, but Bernardo out of the way. Ah! Oh, rolls him up for the cover again, but just a two count. And look at Renaro right back to the arm. And snapping the fingers. The crafty veteran just rolled right into it. He saw an opening and was going to take it. And now with one arm, Fireman's carry position. Renaro out of it once again. Oh my goodness, slamming him down back to the center of the ring, hand first. That's the danger of lifting your other arm up, or perhaps going for a Death Valley driver, perhaps a TKO, but by giving your opponent your arm, Sal Renaro's able to grab the wrist and tug it again in a super kick. That might be all she wrote. We might have a new number one contender, Carmen. No! <laughs> oh, close. Giving it his all right now to retain that number one contendership. Salonaro starts actually conflicting thoughts. He's letting those voices speak a little too loud right now as Salonaro. Sal simply thought that was it, but now. Charging in. Catching the boot from Dallas. And Dallas once again with a big haymaker. Dallas is see him moving the fingers, trying to get the blood circulation going. But every single time Sal Renaro was in the, is within a distance of that left arm, he's going to latch on to it. This is the game plan of Sal Renaro. He has not missed a single shot that he has attempted in this match so far. Dallas, Aaron manages to readjust himself and now trying to power up Sal with a superplex, but Sal biting the thumb. By hook or by crook, Sal Renaro is getting on those hands, trying to roll through now, thinking sunset flip, can he get the power bomb? Aaron Dallas is trying to hold on to the ropes, Rob, but you can see that left arm giving him problems. Jiggy Nando's kick. 
Got him up for the power. Oh, and sends him down. Sits down with it. No! A split second away from crowning a new number one contender. And Sauron already starting to feel it now. In that last ditch effort to try to protect his neck, he saw Aaron Dallas put his arms behind his head and try to brace for him. And by doing that, he's also going to jar that tricep that's been attacked all throughout the match. Sauron working back with his arm bar and pulling on the fingers. Oh, but that was rolling up Renaro, but just a two count once again. Renaro going right back to the hand, but Dallas fighting out of him with a big four shot. He's got him a fireman's carry position and a TKO, but did he get all of it? Still no. doesn't matter. The steel toe could seal the deal. Stacks him up for the cover, hooks both legs, and that's it. Your winner is still number one contender, Aaron Dallas. We'll talk about a blue collar rock star, Aaron Dallas had to work hard for that one, Rob. Impressive showing from Aaron Dallas, who after that match is still the number one contender for Danny Briggs SSP Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Ultimate Pusha Tauri, and it's the premiere episode of The Ultimate Time with Tauri. Now my guest at this time, it's a man that I got a quite bit of history with. Been friends, had some business opportunities here and there, and some heat. And uh, speaking of heat, Murph, before we even start this interview, though, I just want to make sure everything is clear. Are we cool? Are we good, man? We good, we good, we good. I'm going to tell you, if I wasn't cool with you, I wouldn't be sitting here right now because you know I got, to, I got to get ready for things. I got things I got to do. So if we wasn't cool, I wouldn't be here. Well, with that being said, Let's go ahead and conduct this interview because I got a lot of questions that I want to get with you on and not that much time. But starting off, dog, you've been killing it. You have been killing it. I've been seeing you on the NWA. I mean, oh, you tell me about that right there. I mean, real, real shit. We, I mean, you can bleep it out. You got your people. You can do what you do. Real you know shit, that. though, my dude. It was one of those things where I actually was playing around, you know what I'm saying? And I was at a show, I was watching people talk and I saw one of the producers for the NWA and I was like, hey my dude, hey my dude, what does a person gotta do to get on? And he told me what I had to do and I locked that shit out right there that day and they sent it, the rest is, you know what I'm saying? The rest is history. The rest is history. The rest is history because we about to make history, you feel me? That's what's up, you that's feel what's me? up. Now, speaking of history, uh, I know you've been getting more inside the ring, but, you know, just pulling up the curtain a little bit, dog, I just want to ask, what made you and Josh Wheeler start up SSP? Well, it was one of those things, all right? So, you already know Jimmy Ray, and one of his big pet peeves with me was, he said I had all this knowledge, you know, I taught him how to wrestle, well, you know what I'm saying? And he thought that I should be sharing what I have with, I guess, the upcoming, you know what I'm saying, the upcoming crop of wrestlers around here, you know, the next generation type shit, you know. And I, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be real, I wasn't feeling it. At the time he was telling me I wasn't feeling it. He knows why. I mean, everybody knows why. It's because people around here don't want to put in the work. They don't want to do what, what it takes, you know what I'm saying? So, me and Josh took it upon ourselves to try to, I'm not going to say groom because that's a bad word. I would, no, no diddy. No diddy. I would say that uh, we were trying to take some of the ones that didn't have the drive, didn't have the opportunities, and give them opportunities that we fought for coming up, you know what I'm saying? That we fought for, we try to, I guess, make it a little bit easier and give people a place where they can come and 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 hone their craft. Right, right. You know That's my big word for the day. So, with that being said, uh, you, you spoke about the upcoming generation, the upcoming time. Now, you, the supreme leader, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're the main man in the heart, but you have a new addition 
versus the OG original. Uh, if I, if you don't mind, spread a little bit on your role now. Oh, my role is what it's always been. I'm leader, mastermind, field commander. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 don't take this wrong way, boys, but I am the Irish. You know what I'm saying? Without me, it wouldn't be none of this. I mean, Jimmy too, but he's not here, so I'm taking all that. But, and, and, you know, we have to, to stay on top, we got to, you know what I'm saying, get the best talent to stay on top. You feel me? That's right. That's you know, it's like, it's like, it's like, the hierarchy is Def Jam, and I need the best MCs on my roster to do what we gotta do, to take business and keep what we've started to keep it going. Not only to keep it going, keep it alive as well. Keep it alive, you feel me? I you mean, see? hey, I see these other companies, these other promotions. You guys are 10 steps ahead, as always, of course. You know, with you guys being in the business, not only just being there long, but you guys have been being here long and doing it the right way. You know what I'm saying? For and sure, uh, with that being said, I can only... You're fired! You're okay. fired! I, I ran into him earlier, dude. Jesus! I ran, no, I ran into him earlier. I may or may not gave him some Hennessy. I, <laughs> it's not me. I just don't like to drink alone. You know what? I should have had a shot of that with you earlier, but you know what? Hey, I want to make sure we were cool first. Your producer said you can't drink. Oh, man. They that's said crazy. you get a little wild, my boy, so, that's you know, we trying to keep it... You're right. You're right. Hey, you know. <laughs> but, uh, getting back on track, though, uh, I wanted to ask also, what's the future? For you right now. I mean, what's what's next? For me? Yes, for you. What's next? You know, that is, you've done it all. I mean, bro, I'm like, I'm be real. I'm dead ass on borrowed time, my G. I'm for real. I just felt like when when the when the COVID when the 19 happened, I lost some time. I came back to get that time. Shit picked up. We still going. I'm on borrowed time, bro. So you know, one day if you wake up and look on the internet, look on X, and say they say murder one gone, you know why? You know why that ball time ran out, my boy. I had to go. Well, I can only say this, murder. Respect. I appreciate Respect, you. OG. Even though you say you're on bar time, even though you say you're ball, hey, you stay a ball. You, Jordan. Well, if Jordan was still playing, hey, like boy, I'm an old head. I'm an old. Knees grinding like, <laughs> like, like a clutch with no transmission, my boy. But hey, I still get it in. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. So, I, I got one more question to ask you. Because, again, earlier we touched on the new crop of talent. We got this new tournament coming up called the Savage 16. I, I named just, it after myself. Ooh, man. Come on now. I mean, let's, let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that. So, real, I named it the Savage 16 because I wanted to take 16 dudes that don't get the just do, and I wanted to turn them into savages. I wanted to turn them, I wanted to give them the drive, the heart, the passion that me and my boys have. You know what I'm saying? This is like the last ditch effort to bring some of these people up. You feel me? That's right, that's right. So basically, the Savage 16 is going to be- a showcase. It's a showcase. Like it's I said, Hierarchy is like a rap label. We like the old, we like a super rap group. SSP is like the label. We're trying to find a new axe. So, uh, speaking of, I know yourself, Josh Wheeler, is anybody else that you may bring in just to have specific eyes on this tournament, you know, to help you guys? You know, I'm gonna say this. I got I know a lot of people with blue checks. I'm not gonna name drop. But any of those blue checks that I mess with, because you know, Murder One is your favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler. Uh -huh. Anybody can show up and have some eyes on what we're doing here. So you never know. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I work for the NWA. I'm not gonna say Billy Corgan can show up, but you know, this is pro wrestling. No. You know what I'm saying? I know the AEW world champion. I'm not trying to flex, but I know you never know who can show up. You who hotter than top dollar? I'm just saying. <laughs> just know I'm the plug around here. That's right. That's right. Well, with you being the plug, I'm gonna plug this in real quick. Savage 16, June 9th, Conyers, Georgia. It's gonna be going down, baby. Southern States Pro. This man now, did his homework. I mean, come bro. on now. You know, I, I gotta do my homework, bit dog. You, you on the show? It's the first premiere episode. I, I gotta do it man. right. But with that being said, it's all the time we have now. First episode of The Ultimate Time with Tyreek with Murder One. I'll see you on the next one.